Hi, this is Mark from Pocket Gamer. PopCap has just soft-launched its much-anticipated follow-up to Plants vs. Zombies down in New Zealand. This sequel is all about time travel and adds plenty of new plants, zombies and ideas, but controversially, this game is also free to play. Let's see how the game works and what you can pay for. So the basics are the same, in each level you plant sunflowers to collect sunlight, use that sunlight to plant plants, and then use those plants to kill zombies. Different plants are effective against different zombies, and there are loads of different strategies to experiment with and learn. In that respect, it's no different from the fantastic original and just as much fun. Plus, there are loads of fresh ideas. There's a sun god zombie who will steal your sunlight, an archaeologist with a flaming torch that will do damage to your plants, and a boomerang plant that rips through enemies. And that's just in Egypt alone. There's also uh, the Wild West and a pirate-themed area too. But here's where things change. There are a few items you can use to get a distinct edge over the zombies, and yes, you can pay real money for them. Plant food turns one zombie into a super-powered weapon of mass destruction for a few nanoseconds. Uh, a pea shooter suddenly becomes a machine gun, a cabbage chucker becomes a missile launcher, uh, a sunflower turns into a photosynthesis super factory. You also get power-ups. One lets you pinch the head off zombies, uh, another lets you flick them away, and one electrocutes those undead invaders. They're all super powerful and make light work of your foes. You can pay for these with in-game cash, but once your funds run out, you're encouraged to use in-app purchases to top up your coffers. There are also certain plants like the jalapeno, the torchwood and power lily, which are only accessible if you buy them from the shop at uh, £2 or $3 a pop. There are also more general upgrades, so you can start with more seeds or more sun or get more plant food. There are also sections of the map that are hidden behind locked doors, and the keys are random and rare drops, so if you want to see everything quickly, you're going to have to pay up. Ultimately, this is all going to be a question of balance. Is this game made artificially difficult to push players into buying quick cheats like power-ups and plant food? Or will the average gamer be able to get through without spending a penny? We'll have to play more and see. Plants vs Zombies 2 will go global later this summer. Everything we've mentioned in this video is subject to change before then. We'll let you know when it's out at pocketgamer.co.uk.